The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is in the centre of the knee joint. A tear or rupture to it can be devastating for anybody playing sports and is often season ending. The attachment to the femur, shown here, is where most tears occur. Not visible on an x-ray, an MRI is the investigation of choice. The ACL is the dark structure running diagonally that is highlighted. Whilst an x-ray may give only limited information, if a small avulsion fragment called a second fracture is seen, over 90% of these patients will have torn their ACL. Evidence of a pivot injury is one of the most characteristic findings of an ACL tear. Bone is normally black on T2 fat suppressed imaging. The white are areas of bone bruising, the result of a direct impact between the femur and tibia as the ligament ruptured. Inside the knee I'm examining an acutely ruptured ligament. It's retracted after tearing away from its femoral attachment and has now formed a mobile stump, sometimes referred to as a cyclops lesion. This can get caught between the femur and tibia and block the knee going fully straight. Here, a torn and normal ACL are compared. Looking closely at a sagittal MRI, the folded stump of the ACL tissue can be seen, which may be a cause of a block to the patient regaining full extension of the knee. On other MR slices, Whilst clearly showing some ACL tissue still attached to the tibia, where it has pulled away from its femoral attachment, the defect is clear. Removing these torn ACL fibres is the first stage of any surgical reconstruction. <laughs>